So Ghostwire Tokyo is a 2022 action adventure game published by Bethesda. And it didn't really grab my attention, to be honest. I looked at the trailer, it didn't seem that interesting. Uh, but I see all the video game journalists uh, foaming over it. Like, for example, Kotaku, it's got one of the coolest healing systems in the open world. Oh my god, it's so great. Uh, the most uh, puke-inducing gotta be VG247. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo's authentic representation makes a mockery of Ghost of Tsushima and Sifu's cultural tourism. It's like, holy shit. How many buzzwords can you fit in a title, man? And not to mention, like, you do realize those games actually sold very well. Gamers like them, which is why you hate them. Uh, but now I know. Now, now I think I got an idea why they're salivating over it. Now, this is something that progressives do in anime a lot. When they can't really influence the story, they try to influence the translation. And they hide behind the fact that, oh no, like, this is localization, it's, uh, you know, like, if you translate ramen, for example, into English, because uh, Americans don't really have that dish, you translate it into soup. So instead of saying ramen, you say soup, right? So it makes sense for the Americans, but that's not what they do. They actually try to inject their politics into the translation. So this is the Japanese original translation, apparently... Uh, in this segment, they say, who knows, really. The Chinese translation is, the world belongs to the people. And the Western translation is, all property is theft, kid. You know, it just goes to show the type of people involved with this. I guess this is localization, right? Like, uh, Western people are communists. Very interesting. So, if all property is theft, uh, are you against piracy? I'm just curious, Bethesda. Like, what is your stance on it? Do, do you believe that this property is theft, Bethesda? I, I, I'm really curious. Like, can you make a statement? Probably not. We're never going to hear anything about it. It's just like some communist that's laughing now because, oh, look what he did. <laughs> and I love the fact, you know, like, they would never say this in China, which is actually a communist nation. So this is why, like, the world belongs to the people, right? Because, well, heh. you know, uh, who, who gets to speak on behalf of the people? Who gets to help the people? The government. So in other words, the world belongs to the government. That's what they want to say. And in Japan, which is the official translation, is just like, who knows really. So in other words, it's probably not even politics related. Now, again, this is just something that people have caught on to. There's probably a lot more subtitles like this. And I'm pretty sure this controversy is kind of going to go unnoticed. If this happened like five years ago, people would have been upset. But now it's like, well, you know, communism is going to communism. I mean, it's the American communists, you know, the actual capitalists. I, I love the actual capitalists in America. They, they talk about, oh my God, late stage capitalism. Oh my God, wasteful capitalism. And what do they do? They get a job at a gaming company. What do gaming companies do? They create luxury goods. Like you can't live your life without video games, right? But not only that, it's not that they're just luxury goods. In order for a video game to be played properly nowadays, you need a gaming computer which uses a lot of resources. Some of those resources might even be mined using child labor. And on top of that, an expensive gaming PC, like especially if you have the latest video card, it's going to consume a lot of electricity. So it's not environmental friendly either. So you got like all these bourgeois communists that talk the talk. And, and then when you look at the lifestyle they have, you look at the the actions that they do, it's pure wasteful capitalism. The other day on my live stream, there was this socialist, another game developer, and I talked about how she was uh, complaining that she deserves to have an iPhone. And I'm like, well, why don't you have, like, any other phone? Why, why does it have to be an iPhone? Why can't you have, like, a, a cheap phone, a second-hand phone, you know, like, something that's just functional? But, like, it doesn't have to be an iPhone. But no, because they are the real capitalists, and, and I, I just don't understand it. Just be a fucking capitalist then. Just admit that you love the system and stop complaining. Just stop whining. Honestly, it's like an emo kid that has a really good family that's wealthy, uh, that mommy and daddy loves them, but, but they love to complain. They love to whine, so, so they pretend they're emo, and it's like, oh, my life is so hard. Literally, that's the American bourgeois in a nutshell. Like, they are partaking in this woke capitalism, which is companies pretending to be revolutionary, Selling a product to people who pretend to hate capitalism. Disgusts me. It does disgust me. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
I'm still curious whether or not Bethesda thinks all property is theft. Cause, hey, like, if all property is theft, then it doesn't matter if you steal it, right? By that logic. I don't think that all property is theft, but Bethesda thinks to think so, so... I, I would love to have a statement from them. I, I would love to listen to, to what they, they think. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.